You ever get lost in those Apollo mission photos? The ones with the Earth rising over the moon? I always catch myself thinking, hold on a sec. Shouldn't there be stars, like, everywhere? And it turns out that thought's crossed a lot of space fans' minds. One reader even wrote to Astronomy Magazine to get an expert's take. It's a really interesting question, actually. You know, it makes you think about how what we expect to see in space photos based on like our experience looking up at the night sky isn't always how it works out. Right. It's almost like there's a disconnect somewhere. And so the magazine's expert, Amy Shearer Title, her answer is surprisingly simple. It's the camera settings. But of course, we're here to deep dive and the explanation gets super interesting because it touches on how cameras work in general. Totally. It reminds you that a photo is a representation of reality, not reality itself. That's a great point. So the article explains that cameras, in a way, they're kind of like our eyes. They have to adjust to how much light there is, like picture walking out of a dark room to bright sunlight. Your eyes need a sec to adapt, right? Cameras are similar. Exactly. And they deal with it through aperture and shutter speed. Aperture, imagine that as the pupil in your eye. It controls how much light gets into the camera. Shutter speed is, well, it's like how long you let that light in for. Okay, that makes sense. So with the Apollo photos, the astronauts are trying to capture these amazing shots of other astronauts, the lunar surface, all in this super bright sunshine. Everything's really illuminated. So they used a fast shutter speed, small aperture. Right. And by doing that, they made sure the bright stuff, the spacesuits, the lunar lander, that all came out clear. But the really faint light coming from distant stars, it didn't have enough time to make an impact on the film. It's not like those stars just, like, ducked out for the Apollo missions or something. Right. It's fair. They were out there in the blackness of space, just way too faint to show up when those photos were focused on all that brightly lit stuff in the foreground. Yeah. Think of it like, hmm, trying to take a picture of a firefly okay. with like a city skyline behind it. Oh, I see where you're going with this. You could probably pick up the firefly's light if you left your shutter open long enough, but with a fast shutter speed, only those city lights are going to be visible. That's a perfect analogy. Yeah. And get this, the article mentions that some of the Apollo astronauts, they did manage to capture stars. They were running experiments that needed longer exposures. And, well, those photos show something pretty amazing. Oh, yeah. The article describes them as having, like, pinpoints of light behind the bright, huzzy blobs that are the overexposed moon or Earth. Wow. It's such a great visual, you know, because it really hammers home how... What we see in a photo, it all comes down to how it was taken. It's kind of like those incredible long exposure photos from telescopes like Hubble, right? Mm -hmm. The ones that reveal just countless galaxies in what looks like empty space to our eyes. Exactly. Those photos are only possible because the camera shutters left open for like hours, even days sometimes. Gathering all that light. Exactly. Enough to pick up those incredibly faint distant objects. It makes you wonder, like, what else are we missing in these photos from space? Yeah. What about nebulae, those wispy clouds of gas and dust or galaxies far, far away? Are there incredible things hidden in plain sight, just waiting for us to figure out the right way to look? Or, I guess, the right way to set up our cameras? It's kind of humbling, you know? Yeah. makes you realize how much more there is to the universe than we can see with just our eyes. Totally. And that's what's so exciting about all of this. It's a good reminder that we're always finding new ways to see, to understand the cosmos. Like, who knows what else is out there, hidden in plain sight, just waiting for the right technology, the right approach to unlock it. It's like we're constantly pushing the boundaries of what we thought was even possible. So for everyone listening, next time you're looking at an incredible space photo, just remember, there might be even more to the story than you realize. It's huh? like the universe is giving us a little nudge saying, keep looking, keep exploring. There's always something new to discover. Exactly. And that sense of wonder, that drive to uncover the universe's secrets, that's what keeps us all looking up at the stars. Thanks for joining us for today's discussion. We hope you enjoyed diving into the topic as much as we did. If you found it interesting, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss future episodes. Let's keep exploring, learning, and sharing great conversations together. Until next time, take care and stay curious.